Good evening. It's the Oscar expert here with Brother Bro. We're gonna be doing a trailer reaction to Mary Queen of Scots. I put this very high on my Oscar predictions video for 2018. Definitely a really baity contender with two actresses who were nominated in the lead last year, Margot Robbie, Sarah Sharon, and top of their games. The director, Josie Rourke, hasn't really done a big feature movie, so we don't exactly know what kind of movie it's gonna be. We don't have any past movies to judge or work on, but I mean, this is Oscar bait at its baitiest. So watching the trailer, I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, don't dislike, I was a little bit disappointed with it. Even overlooking like the weird font and the bad music, I don't see what about this movie is that original. It seems like a 2004 contender, but we're in 2018 and people have seen all this period stuff before. The, the font was really strange and it kind of sets up this whole TV feel. It feels like this could be a cool mini series on television, but really it didn't feel like it had the heights of like cinematography and filmmaking that an Oscar contender generally has. I'm not seeing it get to the peak of these critics lists. It looks kind of unoriginal and uninspired. The acting is the one part that I will say I am excited about. I like that Margot Robbie looks like a clown. I wanna see her do her performance. And I think Saoirse Ronan seems really great. She's great in everything. I I'm really liked the scenes where they're like yelling at each other or whatever. That's what I wanted the trailer to show me more of. I, now this could be a case of bad trailer syndrome, but I think the movie still doesn't have like a flair, doesn't have spice. Not necessarily bad, but maybe just okay movie. You know, even a movie like The Theory of Everything and The Imitation Game, those are sort of standard movies, but they had this like beautiful cinematography and trailers that made people really excited, that made me excited even, or thought, you know, this is a really nicely shot movie. Who, who's gonna defend that font? Who is gonna defend the font? It really looks it's like disgusting. a History Channel documentary. And you compare it to the trailer for The Favorite, which came out earlier this week, another period movie, but that one is just so different, so unique. And then this one's just like, we've seen contenders like this in the past. It's a little stuffy. I guess the only really thing modern about it is that it has some gender politics, but if it's not a great movie, that's not gonna be enough to carry it all the way to the Oscars. I think that this movie will nonetheless be in contention for some technicals like costumes and art direction is always Absolute hand in hand makeup. with those periods. Makeup for sure. Makeup, makeup is possible. And then actress and supporting actress is still very possible. Although I don't see anything in this trailer that suggests they're going to win. I thought both these actors have a shot at winning. Now I say they seem like they could still get nominated, but I just don't know about winning. For Saoirse Ronan, it doesn't look like she's doing anything different than she did when she was 12 in Atonement. This movie might not excite people enough, it might not get people excited enough about her performance that this is really gonna make an impact for her and get her the Oscar that she needs. You got other contenders like Viola Davis. I mean, she's gonna be screaming over the loss of her dead husband. However, Margot Robbie, I do think, has a better chance than Sarah Sharon at just being nominated. I think her performance is going to be the strongestly campaigned for. I it's think also a big role for a supporting. If you're in the movie a lot, and you're in the supporting category, thumbs up to you. Margot Robbie is going to be an easy nomination if they really want to campaign her and get her in and if the movie's not absolutely trash. Saoirse Ronan being in the best actress category, more competitive, there's a lot of best actress contenders this year, a little bit harder for her to squeeze in. The, the way that the, they talk is just very stuffy, very formal, like even when these characters are like breaking down, getting emotional, crying, upset, they're still like so fakely composed in a way that, you know, again, The Favorite is a movie where these people in these lavish costumes are just going like batshit. It's like about like their psychology. That self-awareness is something that I think people like to see nowadays and this movie doesn't seem to be that self-aware in that regard. It looks too comfortably a movie that plays at your art house and a bunch of old people go see it and that's it. We love Sarah Sharon and Margot Robbie. Their performances were some of the best of last year and we think they're gonna be great in the movie. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but in our opinion, this trailer is not that great and it could be an underwhelming movie. Yeah, I'm thinking at best a 69 in Metacritic Cole, and I just don't think that cracks the best picture race.